News at 4. Mayor Lori Lightfoot announces a new program to level the playing field when it comes to city contracts with minority-owned businesses. WGM political reporter Taman Bradley is live at City Hall with details. Taman? Dina and Ben, two positive headlines from here today to tell you about. One, the city is planning for a much more normal summer and also more help is on the way for small and minority business owners. It's long been an issue in the city of Chicago. Small, minority, and women-owned contracting. Today, new support. Mayor Lightfoot signed an executive order aimed at increasing access to capital, improving vendor payment speed, and encouraging the utilization of diverse contractors. The change we need and the change we want um, doesn't just happen. We must be intentional to make it happen. The city has announced a vendor impact fund, $25 million from Goldman Sachs and the Community Reinvestment Fund to help minority-owned, women-owned, people with disabilities, and veteran-owned businesses access the Small Business Administration's Paycheck Protection Program and loans for financing projects. When people think about small businesses, what do you think about? Do you think about me? Do you think about other successful small businesses that look like me? Mayor Lightfoot is also establishing a working group to ensure city vendors are paid in a timely fashion. Anyone who's worked for themselves can tell you the endless struggles and frustrations of getting paid and getting paid on time. And that frustration turns into real stress when the payment you're waiting for is the same payment you're counting on to pay other bills and expenses. In other news, hope after a dark winter. As more and more people receive the COVID-19 vaccine, City Council has signed off on Chicago's traditional slate of summer activities. Last summer, all of the major events that residents and tourists love, from Lollapalooza to Taste of Chicago, were canceled. I believe that the summer of 2021 is going to look more like 2019 and less like 2020, but we've got still got to be driven by and led by what the science and the public health guidance tells us. But I feel very optimistic about summer activities and gatherings of this summer, but more to come. That is definitely good news. Nobody wants summer to be canceled again. Officials obviously say that we never know what might happen with COVID, but they are moving forward, planning for those summer activities because contracts have to be signed. Live this afternoon from City Hall, Tamon Bradley, WGN News. Some hope as we move ahead. Thanks, Tamon.